I'm Justin Davis, and you're going to have some fun today. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca. You have a chance to win this DJI FPV drone, the case, and two batteries. We're gonna choose one of the next 100,000 subscribers to be our lucky winner. So please subscribe, good luck, and happy FPV. All right guys, welcome to today's review. This is the MJXRC Bugs 18 Pro 4K with EIS on board, shooting 4K at 30 frames per second. This is the case that it comes with. This is what comes in the box, the drone itself. You get two batteries. This is a 2S2850 milliamp battery. It also has a new video transmission system on here running 5G Wi-Fi out to about three kilometers. And I have to say the range test on this went really, really well, well over 2000 meters. Uh, and I could have went much further. You just need to have a good line of sight between the transmitter and the drone to keep a steady stream back to your phone. It's actually working really good and probably better than any other MGXRC drone that I've flown to date. So that is very good news for MGXRC fans. Now, aside from amazing 4K at 30 frames per second video on this particular Bugs 18 Pro, we have a three axis gimbal on here. We have brushless motors, we have folding arms, and we have folding props. We have a rear facing LED that lets you know when your compass calibration is done. We have optical flow on the very bottom and we have SD card support right here. On the back of the drone, we have the 2S2850 milliamp battery. It's gonna get us about a maximum flight time of about 25 minutes. I would say more like a 22 minute real world flight test time. And just to compare, it is a little bit bigger than the Mavic Mini. Yes, it's over 250 grams. It has to be registered in most countries. Some countries, sorry, it won't be available, but it is pretty small and compact. And on the scale, we have a total takeoff weight of 390 grams. The transmitter that comes with it does get out to about three kilometers. So that's about a mile, uh, 1.8 miles if you're American or Imperial system or British. Once it's connected to the drone, you'll see four LEDs right here. And uh, I have to report that the transmission is way better than any other MJX drone that I have flown in the past five years. So that's good news. You will also see a new switch on here that goes to low, which is low video mode for cinema mode, medium for normal range flying, and high speed mode for kind of like a sport mode. And this one does fly at about 10 meters per second. A couple other upgrades that I noticed were that they do have USB-C charge support now on the transmitter. No AA batteries needed. It has an internal battery, which is great news for us. It is a 2,500 milliamp battery, so it should last for quite a few flights. And we have USB-C on here, as well as our charge rate. When you're charging, you'll see these lights go all the way across. When it gets to four bars across, you are good to fly. So let's go ahead out now and let's fly the Bugs 18 Pro. And let me show you that fantastic 4K video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and fly the Bugs 18 Pro and let's get this review underway. I've already successfully calibrated the compass and I also bound the transmitter with the drone. There is no Wi-Fi password on it, so you just have to go go to the Wi-Fi section in your phone, connect to X-Drone and download the X-Drone app and you should be good to go. If your transmitter does not pair up with your drone and it sits there forever and never connects, what you want to do is hold and press the power button and the lock button at the same time. When it turns on, it'll see a series, you'll see a series of LEDs blinking, going across, kind of marching ants, and then it'll eventually connect. Uh, within about 30 seconds, you should be good. Then restart the drone again, calibrate the compass, and you should be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and start the video recording to the SD card. We're in medium speed. It has three speed modes on here, a video mode, which is low, medium, and high speed mode at about 10 meters per second. So to arm it, we're just going to go ahead and press the lock button and that should uh, get the motor spinning. Once you see the motor spinning, go ahead and push up on your left stick, which is your throttle stick. And so, you know, this one's supposed to go way further out around three kilometers and it's supposed to have much better, much better video, 4K video at 30 frames per second. And we're just going to cruise around the field here. And I'm in medium mode right now, guys. And if you feel like you have a little bit of geomagnetic sort of uh, interference, you can bring the drone in and land it. 
and it looks like ours needs to be landed so i wouldn't say this is a perfect first flight i feel like it's drifting a little bit and it needs to be landed and have some further calibration so if that happens to you the way you're going to do your geomagnetic geomagnetic calibration is go ahead and land your drone take both sticks down and to the right and that will do a geomagnetic calibration now when you're landing you can press the auto land button press and hold that down and it will shut the motors off okay so we're going to take the sticks and down and to the left and you should see that the led light in the very back starts to flash and on the screen it'll show you geomatic geomagnetic calibration i can't say that today what's wrong with me um so now once it starts flashing goes back to green we should be good to go but right now it still says on the app that we have geomagnetic calibration there i said it right this time We've got 12 satellites i'm still recording video and you can also do a gimbal calibration go by taking both sticks and going down and to the left let's go ahead and stop the video and let's arm the drone let's come up off the ground once we have satellites there we go 12 satellites you don't want to take off before you have your satellite lock so once you have that it'll say standard mode we have also tripod mode low speed video mode and all the way up is sport mode at high speeds but we're just going to fly in medium mode again so we're going to go ahead and auto take off and see how it does this time holding itself so it looks like it's holding pretty good this time i'm just going to walk in front of the drone real quick wave to you guys before we go out and fly 4k at 30 frames per second flying down to the sd card come on baby now you're flying like a true gps drone if i let go of the sticks it should not wander so let's just come up here it's a little bit windy we're going downfield right here and let's let go of the sticks see if it holds a hover and it doesn't drift too much okay it fell back a little bit now it's slightly going forward and it came to a stop okay that's a pretty good spot right there so it's holding its spot let's just do a uh, what we call a gps column which is going straight up and straight down just want to see how well it holds this column going up giving it like no yaw input right here and now we can come back down and let's just you know while we're doing this column let's go ahead and put the camera down look at the ground because we can control the camera too it doesn't have a very fast descent rate but on here we have eis electronic stabilization control and we have mechanical three axis gimbal on this so this should be quite a bit better now we're going to go ahead and go up and do some forward flying okay we're going to go up up and up and up and up we got some soccer folks coming in so we're just going to move out of the way just making a nice cruise and what i really want to see about this version of the drone is that we have better signal back to my phone so i'm recording the screen in this this review so you guys can see if there's any kind of loss in signal or chop up in the screen we're also going to show you some of that 4k at 30 frames per second being recorded down to the sd card and you know what it's pretty windy today so you know we should have uh, a real test for it today Let's just spin it around into the wind here, shall we? This is straight into our headwind right here. Looking pretty nice. Looks beautiful up there. Okay, so let's go ahead and go for some forward flight again. Let's go ahead and put it into video mode. Let's find a, a really nice spot here. Let's bring the gimbal down slightly. If you have your gimbal too high, you might see props in the view. So let's go ahead and go forward. I've got the sun at my back. A lot of times if you shoot away from the sun, you'll get a much better image from these type of drones. And it, it really could use a polarizer, I'm sure. If it had some kind of lens cover polarizer, that would really help the video in the sky. But the definition in the sky looks good on my app. So I'm wondering what it looks like in the 4K view. 
And this drone also has like, you know, point of interest, rotation, orbit mode, follow me, waypoints and all that cool stuff. And we should at least be able to get about 300 meters out. That's the typical bugs range. And right now I'm actually making probably some of the best bugs range on my phone that I've ever made. Right now we're a distance of about 1100 feet out and starting to break up a little bit. I've got a little bit of trees in between me and the drone. There's some breakup, okay. We made it to about 1100 feet before it started to break up. So let's go ahead and press the return to home. It's making its way home. You can see the video coming back in. If your video app ever crashes on you, you can, let's see if we can spin it around, turn the yaw. Yep, we can turn the yaw kind of look where we're going as we're heading home. We don't have any obstacle avoidance sensors on here, so um, you want to be able to throttle up and down if you see a big, tall tree coming. And I went right by this one right here, and I'm going to go ahead and take it out of return to home mode. I'm going to cancel that. Now we're going to put it into high speed mode. So let's check out high speed mode. See how that does. Press record again. Okay, we're gonna turn around and go back this direction again. Nice little field over here. You can see Mount Hood off in the distance, I believe. Right now I'm about 700, 800 feet away. And you know, here's where we're approaching that territory where the, the app starts to kind of stutter or get obstructed. So we're at 1100 feet now. I'm on top of this hill and it looks like we're gonna go past my original flight 1100 feet now we're 1400 so that's great so the range is much better than i expected so if you stand on top of a hill somewhere and you perch on top of something where you have a clear line of sight between your transmitter and the drone you're going to get a much better distance so i'm i mean you're going to be out past 2000 feet this is this is going to be way over double than what the original drone uh, from mgx rc could do in the bugs 16 series i believe 16 pro was when we did a couple years ago and I'm really just cruising now. This is one, <laughs> this has turned out to be one of the best experiences I've had as far as MJXRC and bugs goes. This is freaking cool. We got some kids down on the soccer field right now, so I'm not gonna fly over the soccer field. I'm gonna come land over here. We'll probably land over here. We'll go get the landing pad. Definitely don't wanna fly near a soccer practice. Now we can fly over this parking lot over here and back to the other field over here. Doing really, really well. So I've flown most of the MJXRC drones. If you're still with me watching this review, I've been with this, I've been reviewing for this company since they first came out. Drone Camps has been a long time kind of a, a you know, helper of demonstrating their new products and honestly, I've liked them that they're easy to set up and just fly. And as long as you do the buying procedure, you should be good. So at this point, we're having kind of a forced landing. It's on a low battery. I did get about 20 minutes flight time out of this. I cut some of this short so you guys didn't have to watch the whole flight test. But I have to say, this one is a good one. One of the best ones they've ever made. I know you've heard that a lot on this channel. But, you know, as things progress, things get better, right? So this one is a decent one with 4K on board. And it's a competitor to anything that Hollystone makes. So, uh, yeah, lots of competitors for the toy drone 4K market coming out. And we're sitting pretty because of it. So you can see the review on my website, dronecamps.com. Check out the link in the video description as well. And we will see you on the next one for another honest review guys as always hashtag drone truce i'll see you on the next one take care guys thanks for watching